Hey, what up, guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new Fatwiz player review. Let's take a look at the Premier League champion in form, Jamie Vardy. So, the Englishman is 84 rated and, of course, plays for Leicester City in the Premier League. He's got a whopping 95 pace as well as 83 dribbling, 86 shooting and 82 physical. So, he looks pretty good. He is 5'10 with high, high work rates and he does have the pretty average 3-star skills and weak foot combo though. So I've got a couple of squads that you guys could use him in. The first one would be this. It's a full-on English side. Uh, of course, he'll, he'll get a lot of strong links from English players in the Premier League. Special items in this team are Movember Henderson. We've got the squad building challenge Barry and the player of the month Raheem Sterling as well. But the team I actually used him in was a little bit more creative. It was this 4-3-2-1 side featuring players from the Bundesliga, Premier League, of course, and the Italian Calcio A. Uh, the squad also features team of the group stage players in Farman and his teammate Mares, which is quite interesting. Uh, so when we take a look then at Jamie Vardy's in-game stats, there are some dark green ones and some other green stats there. It looks pretty good. Of course, they will be boosted somewhat if you play him on that default basic chemistry style on full chem. Um, however, I decided to go down the route of Marksman. Now, Marksman boosts dribbling, shooting, and physical, which I felt are three areas we could do with improving a little bit. I didn't need to boost his pace. He's already got 95 of that. Didn't want to boost his passing. 70 is decent enough for a striker for me. And I'd obviously don't need to go anywhere near the defending on my out-and-out -out striker. So that was my choice. Uh, I went with Marksman and I think it paid off quite well. We scored a lot of goals with Jamie Vardy. He's very, very good on Ultimate Team, of course. There are some negatives, though. We'll get them out of the way, shall we? Um... Skill moves and weak foot. Yeah, that's always a problem when you come up with these players that have got three star, three star. You just lose quite a bit of, quite a few options when you're going on these attacking runs. You know, if you had four star skills, you can use the Berber swim, which I find so very useful on this game. And then weak foot, like that's one of my favorite things. A player with like four star or five star weak foot, definitely one of my favorite things on this game because... You can just send the defenders a different way because they don't know which way you're going to go. And then you can hit the hit the shot on the weak foot. Unfortunately, Jamie Vardy can't really do that. And then the final issue that I have with him um, is his work rates. He's got high, high, which means, I mean, high attacking work rate. Great. That's perfect. That's what I want on my striker, my out and out lone individual striker. But high defensive work rate? No, I, I don't want that at all. I want him to be constantly up top. I don't want him to push back and help my defense out. And, and I, I noticed it a couple of times in his positioning that he was slightly further back, which it can be a bit of an issue. I'm not going to lie, especially if you are playing him as a lone striker. Um, and then I guess the only other thing to say negatively is that people know he's really quick, so they are quick to park the bus and have a really far back defensive line, meaning you can't play the, the good way with Vardy, which is lobbing the ball over the top and hoping he can sprint onto it. Something to bear in mind with this guy. Uh, but he has got a lot of positives, and we'll talk about them now. His pace is obviously the biggest selling point for Vardy. He has got 95 pace, which is very, very quick, and he is very, very quick, and I like that a lot. He's also a very aggressive player. Like He is going to burst into tackles. He's just going to be there when you want him to because he's he's aggressive. Uh, and that, that sometimes can tire him out somewhat. Luckily for Vardy, he's got great stamina and does last throughout the game, which is another important thing to bear in mind. You know, these players that run out of steam from the 70th minute, I'm not all about them. I prefer the ones which can last 90 minutes or even into extra time. Uh, his agility was also fantastic. It makes him feel like a quicker player as well. Uh, able to weave in and out of defenders, even with his dribbling, which is not the greatest. It was still pretty good, but I've used a lot better uh, dribblers on this game for sure. Uh, but he can hold his own and weave past defenders, even though he's only got the three-star skills, of course. But the best part about him, his goal-scoring ability, um, of course, I would, I would highly recommend getting inside the box. He's a good poacher. He knows how to score goals from inside the box. Long shots aren't really a thing with Jamie Vardy. I hit one or two shots from relative distance, but I don't think he's the sort of player that can do that like every single game. Um, there are players that can, but Vardy's not one of them. He's a poacher. He's a finisher. Whip that ball into the box, low, driven, and then he's going to tap it in. That sort of thing. So I liked Jamie Vardy's inform. I didn't love his inform, and um, 
I would probably use other strikers in the Premier League over him, but he's a great option for a very, very pacey striker and he will score your goals. So I hope you now know whether or not the informed Vardy is right for your ultimate team. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace.